Hey everyone, it's uh, been a while since I've put out a video, I think almost two weeks now. Um, been working on a couple projects here. I've got one set of videos that I still need to complete. Um, been putting together a uh, predator for my army here. Um, basically the only thing that kind of held me up from finishing this was uh, magnetizing the side sponsons here so that I can uh, ultimately switch out what type of weapons I put depending on the build for the army that I put on the table. Um, I ran into a bit of a hurdle because when I was going through to magnetize these, which just was the first time that I had attempted this, uh, magnetized various other things but hadn't with this yet. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to release the whole video or just cut it up and release some bits and pieces or what I'm going to do but basically originally what I had was I was magnetizing the entire side unit here so that I could swap it out on any of the uh, Rhino models that I have. Um, I ended up uh, making the uh, number one error when dealing with magnets though and I had this one set up one way and I ended up setting up this side with the reverse polarity. So with that in mind, I ended up just taking magnets out of a couple pieces of it and just gluing the side units in here. And now I'm just going to, uh, if anybody's ever put together a Predator and has not magnetized it, basically all I've done is I've chopped off this portion here. And you can see it on this side. I've actually put a magnet right here. So what's going to happen is the uh, guns will have a magnet with the correct polarity so that all you have to do is just stick it up there and it'll still rotate and everything just how you want it to. So I finally got uh, the side sponsons um, pretty much customized how I want to. I just need to attach the magnets. I'll probably do another video with that and then show the completed process of how it's going to work. But uh, I end up with two options for finishing the customization of the gun and it was either using plastic card which I didn't have any or um, mixing up some green stuff filling the hole the gaps and then basically just uh, smoothing that down as best as I can and then I'll just attach the magnet to the top of the gun and that'll, that'll be it but what I'm going to do tonight here um, I've got five Black Templars to uh, finish up here. I want to make sure that I finish them up before uh, Saturday because our local shop has a little bit of a uh, Halloween scenario to get together that we're going to do um, this year. I don't know if they've done it in the past or not, but it seemed like a pretty good idea for uh, what we've got going on and the players we've got. Um, the scenario basically is uh, Halloween themed and we're limited to 250 total points including a transport so in essence you're looking at pretty much one unit deciding what you want to equip it out with and what I'm going to end up doing is basically using close combat um, Black Templars like this fella here if I can get that lined up yeah going to use um, several of these to signify or work in proxy um, sword brethren so I'm going to have, I can't remember my exact bill, but it's going to be, I think, I've got, hmm, I don't have the list here in front of me, but I want to say I've got three veteran sword brethren, all close combat equipped, and then I'm going to have three of the uh, tabard ones, which will signify just regular uh, crusader squad troops but with close combat and then also mixed in gonna have a heavy flamer and missile launcher so I want to finish painting up all of these guys at least for Saturday's events so I'll have a full uh, painted unit and also since uh, Cranberry Muffin chimed in and I want to say one other person did on a previous video as well about actually going red on the shoulder pads well I've done that and I, I like how it came out 
and how I'm going to do this differently for each unit is all the red trim shoulder pads are basically going to be my uh, uh, ranged weapon troops. So if they have a ranged weapon, they're going to have the red trim shoulder pad. The close combat, just like this guy, will just be all white. And then I don't know if I might do some other mix or maybe scouts or something might end up having black trim. So other than that, I've just been uh, painting up a few things here and there. Still a work in progress, but working on my chaplain as well. I've been using my uh, new paintbrush. Uh, I've talked to a couple of the guys over Skype from uh, Blood Angels Community, um, Cranberry Muffin Man, and Marnius. I uh, can't remember the entire name. I believe it's one of the uh, Blood Angel guys, though. I remember it's Marnius Calgar, but I can't remember the, the, the middle name there. But been talking to him about this stuff as well because I, I really like the. Uh, models that he paints up and he's displayed on some of his uh, videos on his channel so that's pretty much uh, all I've got going on right now um, matter of fact I'm gonna put the link to the uh, Blood Angels community um, uh, website in this video at the bottom there and uh, encourage anybody that's into 40k to uh, come check it out they've got a lot of chapters going I don't know uh, if I'll ultimately end up getting one going here in my local area. I'd like to, but I haven't really talked to anybody else about it yet. But anybody that's into it, you know, I encourage you to go to this community. There's a, there's a lot of active people there right now. Several of us check the boards there throughout the day, just about every day, you know, just bringing up some topics or answering questions for other people. And so far, it's just a great group of people. We do use Skype. Uh, whether it's just a chat or uh, also talk, you know, just like a phone. Um, well, the only thing I'll uh, warn is ultimately if we end up uh, connected through Skype, I apologize now if you send me a message or a request to speak and I don't answer it because a lot of times I just leave it on all the time and that's pretty much uh, what I do. You know, a lot of times, I, I think it was just last night, uh, Cranberry tried to uh, send me a voice chat on there or request for one and lo and behold I was passed out next to the computer and I woke up with the uh, makes a uh, dinging sound or something and I was like what is that and ultimately I looked over and saw that uh, I had a request so I didn't even respond I just shut the computer off and went back to sleep so that's pretty much it uh, I'm gonna paint these up uh, once I get them painted I'll probably uh, do a little bit more video on the finished product and what I'll be putting on the table for a little 250 point game this weekend and for any of the local guys you kind of know what I'm talking about if not make sure you're checking our forums as well for the local shop and I'll be bringing uh, at least three rhinos I might even bring the predator without the uh, uh, turret on top so if anybody needs spare uh, transports for our scenario I'll, I'll have some extras with me so other than that, I'm going to get these painted up and we'll go from there. Thanks.